hi guys welcome to another electronic clinic video tutorial today's tutorial is about the relay driver circuit design calculations in this tutorial i will also tell you how you can find the normally closed normally open common and coil pins of the relay because most of the guys uh, has problem in finding the normally closed normally open common and uh, coil pins so i will also tell you how to find these uh, pins using multimeter and uh, how to select a particular transistor is we will be controlling this relay with the help of a microcontroller maybe arduino or 8051 family microcontrollers or pick microcontroller uh, which will gives us five volt at the output so i will also tell you how to select that particular transistor and why not to use other transistor and why why you have to use this particular transistor and after all these things then we will be making a simulation in proteus and uh, we're going to be writing an arduino program to check whether the circuit that we have designed is working or not so let's start with a relay this is spdt single pole double throw 12 volts relay and this is the only information i have for now and i don't know anything else except its schematic symbol which is just in front of me the coil pins common normally closed normally open but i have no idea which one is the common pin i don't know which one is the common pin which one is normally closed normally open and which one are the coil pins this is all the information i have and using this information i have to design the driver circuit so let's start with finding its pins and let's use a digital multimeter now here's a digital multimeter and you can see i've already set this uh, beep it's set on the continuity and I can check the continuity okay now this is so now first I have to find the normally close normally open and common pin so let's let me select any pin you want you want to start with for example I am just touching it over here let's check this one no it's not it's not yeah it's beeping. so now Now there is a beep sound, so it means one of these two pins is common and one is normally closed, but which one is which? Now we have to find this one, but let's make a box and write the information. So Now we have these two pins which are connected and now the remaining three pins this one this one and this one so maybe these two are the coils or these two are the coils so now we have to find the two coil pins and the one normally open so let's start so as you can see in the DMM it's given us 0.394 K point 394k so r is equal to 394k let's check once again and yes 0.394k okay and we know that this is a 12 volt relay and formula we will be using is v is equal to i r and i is equal to v by r so 12 volt divided by 0.394 k let's use a calculator and 12 divided by 0.394 which is equal to i is equal to 30 milliamps 
So this is the amount of current we will be needing for energizing the relay. Now from this value we can find out the transistor. So any transistor whose collector current is greater than this value can be used to control this relay. So in my case uh, I will go for a transistor whose part number is 2N2222. So this is uh, the NPN transistor, a general purpose NPN transistor and this transistor is easily available in any electronic shop. So now let's make the circuit diagram. So this is the these two are the coil pins and this one is the common and this is normally closed and this is normally open. So as uh, we will be controlling this uh, relay with the help of microcontroller. So let's add a transistor. K and this side will be connected with plus 12 volt and this is 2N222. This transistor will be used in saturation mode. This is the collector, this is the emitter and base. So any NPN transistor, for example, if 2N2222 uh, transistor is not available, then you can use any other general purpose NPN transistor whose collector current is greater than the 30 milliamps so just go for that and we can add a diode over here for the back emf protection so this can be one in four zero zero seven now we will start uh now we will make the simulation and write an arduino program to check whether this uh, circuit is working or now so let's open the Proteus and start signing. So while the Proteus is open click on the pick from libraries button and write a video you know so just we will need this one and a resistor we will also need a relay click OK right click and rotate so now these are the pins these are the two coil pins one and two and this is the common pin and this is the normally close and normally open and it's a 12 volt relay okay now we will also need two in two to two transistors so two and two 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 which is an npn transistor double click and add and let's trigger it a little bit and we also need a resistor we will connect this to pin 13 of the Arduino connect this one it's for here now we will need some power terminals so click on the terminals mode button and select here power double click and write plus plus 12 volts now select ground okay now let's also add a lamp so click on the component mode click on the button which is the pick from libraries and write lamp animated light bulb so and also this one and let's keep this side ground and power Plus 12 volts. Okay, now let's start the uh, programming. Let's save this first. E. 
check tutorial, circulate driver, and this is the simulation. Now let's open the Arduino you know, and write programming. So integer relay equal to 13 and wide setup and wide loop. So pin mode relay is output. Let's keep the relay off by default. So digital write relay low. And let's write a very basic program in which we will turn on and turn off the relay after each and every second. So digital relay high delay 1000 milliseconds which is equal to one second digital right relay is low and delay 1000 and let's compile this Now, as you can see, we have a hex file, so copy this link. Press Ctrl C on the keyboard, double click, and paste this over here. And click OK. Now, let's play this. Now, as you can see, so the, the the circuit that we have designed is working just fine this is 2 in 2 to 2 transistor this is a relay 10k resistors we have added 10k resistor because it's a bjt a bipolar junction transistor and it's a current control device so that's why we're just adding this uh, 10k for the current limiting so that's it if you like my video subscribe to my channel share my videos with your friends and if you want to participate in the competition, so send your details to stu underscore engineering at the rate of yahoo.com. And thanks for watching.